In this video, I'm going to be ranking the top 10 best shooting guard cards right now in NBA 2K23. My team, let me know in the comment section down below what shooting guards you guys currently running on your squad and which do you guys think are the best in the game. But coming in at my number 10 spot is going to be the Dark Matter playoff Jimmy Butler. I'm actually really surprised that not a lot of people do use this card. It's probably because he's super expensive, but he's a really good shooting guard. Like he's six foot seven at the two, six foot eight wingspan. We, we all know he's going to give you elite level defense with a 97 block. 98 steel 98 lateral quickness 98 perimeter 97 interior defense he's gonna have almost every single hall of fame defensive badge in the game and now after getting that evo he's gonna have tons and tons of more hall of fame shooting badges like agent three blinders catch and shoot clutch shooter corner specialist guard up limitless range and then his stats do get a decent upgrade all around no update to his dribble sigs or his jump shot but i think they're very solid and i, I will say jimmy butler a very underrated shooting guard in the game for his playoff version at the number nine spot though i think you got to put galaxy Triple big z somewhere in the top 10 just because of his size at that shooting guard position i do think he's probably a little bit better at small forward because he's seven foot three with a seven foot six wingspan i think that's probably his primary position of where you want to play big z but i still think at shooting guard he's a top 10 card at that specific position because of the fact that he's seven foot three with a seven foot six wingspan that's pretty much all you need to know about the galaxy Triple big z coming in at the number eight spot a really good offensive shooting guard in Galaxy Triple Ricky Davis, six foot seven at the two, six foot ten wingspan. Not a bad player modeling game, also not amazing. His defense is solid, like 95 steel, 96 lateral quickness, 93 perimeter, 90 interior defense. Really good at attacking the basket with a 97 driving dunk, 97 ball handle. You know, a really good vertical as well at a 98. But the main thing about Ricky Davis comes down to his jump shot, having the Seth Curry base with the Oscar Robertson upper on very quick timing is still one of my favorite jump shots and i just feel like one of the easiest jump shots to green in the game just super easy in the catch and shoot and especially off the dribble and then he's got some solid dribble sigs i think that's the one thing that i would like to see upgraded if we do get a dark matter ricky davis in the next couple of weeks or months you know i'd love to see a ricky davis that has like a little bit better dribble sigs maybe some better dunk packages but all around ricky davis still a very elite shooting guard i got him at number eight at the number seven spot and very similar to a guy like Big Z, just because of his size, I do think Kevin Garnett, his Dark Matter version, is going to have to be here somewhere in your top 10 because he's 6'11", 7'2", wingspan at the shooting guard position. We know he's going to give you that elite level defense with a 98 block, 95 steel, 96 lateral quickness, 95 perimeter, 98 interior defense. Like, we know he's going to be one of the best defenders in my team. He's great at finishing around the basket. He's one of the more athletic cards in the game. And then offensively, he's not going to be our main ball handler or your main score but he can still score the ball at a very high level and actually has a pretty good jump shot with that lamello ball base and the kg upper on very quick timing but coming in at the number six spot just barely missing out of the top five is going to be the dark matter the free dark matter steve smith six foot eight at the two with a six foot ten wingspan i mean these next six shooting guards i feel like are all super close like they're all very elites i mean kg's really good big z ricky davis all those guys are elites but i think these next uh, next six cards next six shooting guards really do take that next level step you know of a, i do think they're a little bit better is what i'm trying to say i mean kyle lowry size up really good size up he's got the tray escape a great jump shot dame behind the back he's got the front clutches tray fade tendencies could be a little bit better on the defensive end but all around i think steve smith one of the best shooting guards in my team coming in at the number five spot though is one of my favorite cards to use currently on the game and that is the dark matter vince carter a small four shooting guard six foot six with a six foot nine wingspan and this dude is just so great on offense like he's got a 99 driving dunk 99 vertical really quick great at getting to the basket and we know when he and we know when he gets to the rim He's got some of the best dunk packages in the game, you know, throwing down 360. He's got the front clutches, but this go-to dunk being Vince Carter, in my opinion, is one of the best in the game. And his jump shot is so elite with the Kyle Kuzma base, the Vince Carter upper on very quick timing. I just think it's such a knockdown jump shot. Maybe not the fastest in the game. There's definitely some shooting guards, you know, ahead of him that do have quicker jump shots, but I think Vince Carter going to be a top five shooting guard in the game. At the number four spot is going to be the Dark Matter Tracy McGrady. I thought I had to put both uh, T-Max here in this top 10 
you know, just because of his size, being a six foot eight shooting guard, seven foot two wingspan, we know he's still going to be one of the best offensive cards in the game because of the KPJ base and the Oscar Robertson upper on quick timing. He's still got those pretty good dribble sigs with the T Max size up, the Steph Curry escape, Dame behind the back. He's got front clutches. I mean, he's got to be a top five shooting guard, even though he does have the invincible, which we'll talk about here in a second. I think his dark matter version is still going to be a top five shooting guard. I got him at number four. At the number three spot for me personally is going to be the dark matter Terry Dishinger. Once again, really a toss up between T Mac and Terry. I've always said that since these cards were released, you know, T Mac came out February the 24th. And then once uh, Terry Dishinger came out about a month later, yeah, about a month and four days later, I said that it really comes down to preference and play style. And just your opinion on the jump shot, like Terry does have the same base and the KPJ base, but he's got the Carmel, uh, Carmel Anthony upper on quick timing so he's got a little bit faster of a jump shot i will say t max release is probably a little bit easier to green but then terry dishinger does have the steve francis size up which is a whole lot better than the t max size up and i would say that's probably the biggest difference between the cards because they're very very similar at that shooting guard position but at the number two spot for me personally is going to be the hero dark matter tim thomas a small forward shooting guard six foot ten with a seven foot two wingspan but i think between tim thomas terry dishinger t mac these three shooting guards are all super close and then same thing with vince carter and steve smith like if you want to flip these around and go steve smith at five and vince carter at six i think that's definitely fair to say really really close at the shooting guard position but yeah just because of tim thomas's size being six foot ten at the two you know has 40 hall of fame badges which is going to be super helpful tons on shooting tons on defense and he's actually a very underrated defender in game just because of his defensive stats and badges and he actually has some great defensive tendencies with an 88 on ball steal 90 contest shot 90 block shot but this jump shot with the lamella ball base and the trey young upper on very quick timing is one of the faster jump shots in the game so if you do like a quick release you'll definitely like the hero tim thomas just because of how fast that jump shot is and then he's also got the best dribble six in the game with the steve francis size up the trey escape and that's probably the biggest difference at least in my opinion between hero tim thomas and the uh, terry dishinger and the t-mac is the fact that these cards have you know not bad dribble sigs like the t-mac size up and the curry escape is good for a lot of people but i like the steve francis size up a lot more than the t-mac size up and i personally do like the tray escape over the curry escape but that really does come down to preference and then also like the tray fade can be super helpful like both these guys you know t-mac and terry dishinger have the normal fade but it really comes down to preference and if you know how to use the tray fade to your advantage i think it could be one of the best ways to score at least on next gen and also very good on current gen because one of the only fades you can actually use but at the number one spot we all know it's going to be the invincible dark matter tracy mcgrady six foot eight at the two seven foot two wingspan his stats are all going to be at least a 97 most going to be a 98 or 99 he's got a total of 55 hall of fame badges which is absolutely insane he's only missing one badge in the game which is going to be vice grip you look at his animations compared to his dark matter he's going to have the exact same jump shot except that they put their release timing yeah the release timing too very quick so now his jump shot i will say after using this card it does feel a lot faster than the other dark matter radiant version it does feel a decent amount quicker like sometimes it actually feels a little bit too fast but yeah still a great jump shot obviously one of the best if not the best jump shot in the game currently if you do like quick jump shots and then he kept like the t-max size up the steph curry escape i would have loved to see maybe like the steve francis size up to kind of match like terry dishinger's dribble six or maybe even like the garland size up or the Kyle Lowry says up something a little bit better than T-Mac would have been nice and also surprised that he didn't get 99 defensive tendencies but all around Tracy McGrady the invincible I do think is the best shooting guard in my team but let me know in the comment section down below what do you guys think about my top 10 shooting guard list and I'll catch you guys in the next one peace